and welcome to Good News Washington Church Weekly News. At this time, we would like to share with you some highlights from our church this week. This Monday, our church had a Memorial Day picnic. We held it at Brother Eric's house, who has been having Bible study with us for the past year. It was a blessed time for brothers and sisters, and also pastors we have been connected with to have fun canoeing, fishing, riding boats, and having fellowship together. We had an especially joyful time singing both Kenyan and Spanish praises as a group. We truly thank God for giving us a family in Christ to spend special days like this together. Throughout this week, we continue to have Bible study. Since God has given us a true gospel, it is our joy to spread the message of true salvation that Jesus has washed away all of our sins with their family, friends, and neighbors. We believe God will bless all of our Bible studies. This Saturday, we held our fourth pastor's breakfast meeting. This time, we held a meeting at a senior center and listened to the words of Pastor David Kim regarding true repentance. All the Christian leaders listened earnestly and had fellowship about repentance afterward. We are thankful because every time we do this meeting, we can see that God leads the meeting and fellowship so that it is meaningful and joyful for all in attendance. This Saturday, we also held the kimchi making class. Kimchi is a traditional Korean dish and superfood and all the participants felt a sense of achievement as they really succeeded in creating their own kimchi. We thank God for the blessed time to connect with community members. This week, Pastor Oksa Park had a meeting with the Prime Minister of Tuvalu, Kasal Natani. During the meeting, Pastor Park talked about the Mind Education Program and preached the Gospel. After listening, the Prime Minister said, I was a sinner, but thank God for sending Jesus. Jesus has washed away all of our sins. We truly look forward to how the country of Tuvalu will change through the Gospel. Now, for announcements. There will be an IYF dance camp from June 14th to 18th. It will be a meaningful program for youth to not only be active and learn dances together, but time to grow spiritually through the Word and fellowship. From July 16th through the 23rd, we will be holding the CLF in Korea. The CLF is a life-changing program and an opportunity to connect with Christian leaders from around the world to have fellowship and learn more about the Gospel. For more information, please contact our church. Lastly, Good News Washington Church has services on Sundays at 10 o'clock a.m., Wednesdays and Fridays at 7 o'clock p.m., and on Saturdays we have Bible studies for students and young adults at 2 o'clock p.m. Feel free to join our programs at any time. Thank you for watching, and we hope you have a blessed week.